Vote 2020. Early voting here in Duval County begins Monday, and election officials are now set, setting up the locations. Large crowds are expected. Many voters choosing to cast their ballots early are anxious about the uncertainty over Election Day, now 17 days away. At 5 o'clock, News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott shows us what's going on at the convention center, which will be a large early voting site, a site that is also stirring up some controversy. Jim is joining us live once again from the convention center to show us why critics are objecting to this location as a problem for those in another part of town. Jim? You know, Tom, behind me right now, they're setting up for a political rally tomorrow. So that's what you're hearing and seeing. But here at the convention center, as you said, on Monday, they are expecting some long lines. Now, there is a group in northwest Jacksonville, you know, Edward Waters College, that's upset about this becoming the new site for early voting or for early voting. And the reason being is they say it's unfair to their community. We went around this neighborhood near Edward Waters College talking to voters. It's where we met Cherie Gray. She's worried about what's going to happen now that early voting at the college has been moved several miles away to the convention center. Not only what it means to students, but for everyone in the neighborhood who could use the site. It's inconvenient for seniors like me. Um, it's over. We need to be somewhere closer so we can vote. Walking, which some of them don't have cars. Her daughter agrees and says it wasn't well thought out. Not only the elderly, but the handicapped as well to get somewhere where they would need to be. And the change is what's messed that up too. Pastor Reginald Gundy has been voicing concern about the removal of the site since the change was announced earlier this year. He says it's hurting black neighborhoods in Jacksonville. Absolutely, they're being disenfranchised. Uh, when you move the sites to where you move them in predominantly white areas, you don't really take into consideration all the 6,000 plus people over in there. That's a voter suppression and voter disenfranchisement. And now they got to get on a bus because most people don't have transportation. Today, during the morning show, News for Jack's anchor Jennifer Wall asked election supervisor Mike Hogan about moving the college campus sites. Uh, why you made the decision to this year to close voting sites at Edward Waters College and the University of North Florida? Well, a couple reasons. And the primary reason is there was very low, low turnout at both those colleges. They were the lowest in the state and the lowest, of course, in Duval County. But more than that, uh, it's statutorily driven. I have to, to geographically locate uh, early voting sites around the county and where I, I'm um, making sure that uh, I have equal access to the vote. But Pastor Gundy and people in the area aren't buying that response. Every time we have a major election, there's always something. So the site here at the convention center, this is one of 20 early voting sites. Again, that will start on Monday in Duval County. The other new site is over there at, uh, at the F Deerwood Center, which is at, uh, I'm trying to think here, on Bay Meadows Road and Southside Boulevard. Hey, dating myself, that used to be the old Grand Boulevard Mall. We're live at the convention center, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Oh, yeah, Grand Boulevard Mall. I remember that, too. In addition to the polling locations on our website, you can also check out our voter's guide to make sure you know all about the candidates and the issues that will be on your ballot. You'll find it on news4jacks.com.